Hello, this short video is about drone tuning. Now, this isn't something I've done with many people. I usually just do it myself in the van. But we need to start to get you to think about this while we're in lockdown. Tuning your drones isn't difficult. It takes a, a wee while to get your ear tuned to what we're listening for. But I'll make it as plain as I can during this wee exercise. What you will need to do is get a cork. Now, I've got one of these custom built rubber things here. But you might be able to find one round about the house, um, possibly an old wine bottle cork, just if there's one line about, do ask your parents. Do remember, if it's came out of a wine bottle, there will be a hole through the middle of it, so it's best to ask that parent to seal that with super glue or some other adhesive so that the air doesn't leak through the hole. Um, once you've got your cork inserted into the chanter stock, and your chanter put somewhere safe so you don't damage the reed. And I hope you've taken it out carefully. You blow the pipes up. Now, I'm going to just detune mine a wee bit. So, what, we're, what I'm going to do is just tune the two tenor drones together. But the first thing I want you to listen to is the waver. There's a waver. Wow, 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 wow. You'll hear that coming from the drones when we when I blow them up. And we're, we want to get rid of that waver. The waver is caused because the two drones are making sounds, the frequency of which are not the same. So literally the sound waves are bumping into each other and causing that wah, wah, wah kind of sound. So you'll hear it in a second. <laughs> So you could hear that wah 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 thing going on. Now we want to get rid of that. To, we want to bring the two drones in to play the same sound so as we get a nice smooth sound. That's the kind of sound we're looking for, where it settles down from going wow 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 You end up with a nice straight kind of sound. You won't get this right away. You've got to take time to work on it and listen for it. Do it with your tenors first, it's easier. But then once you've got that mastered, we then do the outside tenor and the bass and again, you'll hear the sound of the bass being out of tune and then being brought into tune as I move the drone.
that's how it should end up. What you're going to do is put your base, put a court in your base throne, have your two tenors playing, and then what you're going to do is move this part either down or up. Now, if it's already wavering, if it's doing wah 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 wah, if it's going further out of tune, it'll go wah 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 wah, and it'll just get the 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 wah wah sound gets faster. If you move it, if you move it and it starts to slow the waver down, that's you moving into tune, and you should continue to move in that direction. If it goes the other way and gets faster, then you need to stop and go in the other direction. So it's simply a case of if it go, if you turn it one way and it starts to get better, keep going. But be careful not to go too far because it'll go away and then when you push it down further than you need to, it'll go back out of tune and start to waver again. So be careful just to get it sitting right where it's nicely balanced across the drones. This takes time to do, you won't get it overnight, it'll take a wee while, if you do get it quickly, brilliant, but don't give up, do keep trying. Okay, so good luck with that, if you take this video from the classroom, you'll be able to practice this and then we can chat about it at lessons. See you soon.